<sighs> Winter is upon us. A time when the days get shorter and the nights get longer. And with the setting sun, they awaken. Being the biggest and the strongest as well as possessing a noble heart, Goliath is the leader of the Manhattan clan of gargoyles. Spreading his wings and flying into the sky, Goliath leads his clan in the protection of the people and city of Manhattan. Alright, so here we have Disney's wing action Goliath. Now, I know what I've said in the past about getting multiples of characters, especially if they just have one gimmick and they never really appeared in the show. Yeah, I kind of broke that with this guy. I mean, the gimmick with this guy is you have this little, uh, his, it's supposed to be that his wings flare up, kind of like how he did in the show. You just pull, push this little button on the wings right here. It's, well, it's not a little button. It's more of a tab that you just press down, and that unhooks it, and both wings are supposed to fly up. As you can see that fly up a little bit better like that. And you, it does actually kind of look somewhat impressive. It reminds me of that scene in the show where he gets really pissed off, and his wings flare up, and it just shows kind of the might and power of the guy. And like a little kid, I fell for it when they um, advertised this guy. The wings are just made out of cloth, and the little... Uh, I can't remember what they're called on the bats, but anyways, those little supposed to be those little like fringy things. They're just soft plastic. Um, yeah, these things are a little bit oversized, the, the little uh, arm parts right here, and it kind of th throws off, especially with the little bolts right here. As far as articulation goes, I mean, it's the standard, same as all the gargoyles. I mean, the arms just move up and down, very little head articulation because of the hair, and the legs move up and down as well, and that's about it. Um, his tail can move side to side just as before, and it is a little bit more curved now and definitely helps in that standing position, uh, in that tripod standing position, because this guy's basically a sail with arms and legs. I mean, any type of wind is just going to push this guy back, so he definitely needs that extra support in the back with that curved tail. He comes with this neat s giant sword. Um, as far as weapons go, it's pretty cool, and I'm, if you ever find one just on its own, I would definitely say pick this up. Because I, I put this actually in the hands of the new Leonardo that just came out. And it does look kind of cool having him carry around this big sword. But that's a different toy line. Anyways, um, he also has this nice, well, sort of nice armor plating. The best thing I could say about this is I like that they kept it with a medieval theme. Granted, these guys were in more modern day New York City. And it'd be easier to put them in like either SWAT gear or something else. But uh, it's nice that they kept it with a medieval theme. His face sculpt is a little bit different than the other Goliath. I mean, it's a little bit more pouty. You can see his really mad face here. He's not happy about stuff. Um, as opposed to the last Goliath, where his face was a little bit more kind of calm and happy, I guess. Well, that one was the one where he just woke up from his nap because it's stone. Um, now, another downside of this guy is his wings never really snapped on permanently. I mean, you have this weird slot in his back. You can kind of see where the parts are supposed to peg in it. I remember on the box it says just snap this in and it should stay and I've tried pressing this as hard as I can throughout my whole life but yeah the wings just constantly pop off so yeah this guy can you can easily lose the wings or the figure and just be stuck with one of the others and it's just it's kind of sad really it's another one of those things that made me really regret buying this guy when I did I mean granted I don't regret buying most of my toys but still this one is like yeah I'm not as happy with it as I wasn't as happy as what I thought I was going to be. Anyways, this has been a look at Wing Action Goliath. Once again, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed what you've seen today, please feel free to like, subscribe, or leave a comment below in the comment section. Any advice for the show will be greatly appreciated. Who knows, something you suggest may appear on the show in the future.